Hi, this is Ananda and this is this week's oracle card reading for the week commencing 14th of October and this is a reading for the collective. So basically what I'm going to talk about is just the energies or the um, invitations that come in for us at this time. So I've used three decks and the first deck which the three main cards are from and that gives us the the main sort of idea of what's coming up for us or what the invitations are what the energies are okay and it's Denise Lynn we've got two of Denise Lynn's um, decks uh, but the three cards are the main cards the first three cards are from Denise Lynn's native spirit oracle cards and I two because they came out together I usually just have one from the other two decks but the two from Stuart Pierce's Angels of Atlantis Oracle cards and finally uh, another of Denise Lynn's decks it's Sacred Destiny Oracle and just one card from there so I'll show you the three main cards okay so the first one is Talking Stick The second card is Elder. Have a good look. You can see the stag with the horns and some deer around in the background. Third card is Trickster. And there you have it, Coyote and Snow. Quite a contrast to this, isn't it? Where it looks like it's probably... Yeah, well, their leaves, maybe it's summer. And you have Trickster in the snow in winter. And the two from Stuart Pierce's uh, Angels of Atlantis are, and that's Haneel, Integrity, and the Balance. And the second card. And they both came together so they have to come together is cleansing water or fire yeah well first one and then the other <coughs> excuse me and the final card look at that it's beautiful enlightenment it looks like a, a yacht and the clouds and all those beautiful stars and galaxies wonderful enlightenment okay so what is it all about to this week today and this week so we have talking stick and in especially um, the first peoples of America the Native American peoples um, the talking stick is something which would be passed around in big big meetings as I think they would call them powwows but in really important meetings and one would have to have the talking stick you have to wait for your turn in in order to have the opportunity to to speak to the group but this is is very much about speaking truth speaking one's truth um, and if you want to speak your truth you have to kind of know what who you are what you believe in what you want to represent or what represents you so when we talk about communication and speaking one's truth um there's quite quite a bit in the background um just like you know what's underground like you may see a mushroom pop up above the ground or you may see part of the tree above the ground but the roots um, and the mycelial network under the mushrooms goes a vast distance uh, and that that communication is is huge and it's gathered from the depths yep the darkness the depths of our soul yeah the depths of who we are um just looking at all these cards you know, and you have enlightenment as well yeah and integrity 
<laughs> yeah, integrity. So speaking your truth and having an in, in, integrity. Yeah. And you have trickster, uh, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, you know, anything untoward or, or bad or necessarily very challenging. But yeah, I, I think when we have these types of cards at this particular time and over the last few weeks, it has been all, all this about delving deep in ourselves. Uh, it's just a, a further encouragement and further invitation to go deep within to use this time just like the trees are you know they're retreating deep into themselves they're losing their leaves um and we're we're yeah we're we're i'm personally i'm terrible at clearing my, my stuff out whether it's clearing things out physically or mentally or emotionally so you you know we're kind of following nature and cleansing and shuffling things along and chucking things out if we don't need them but knowing who we are is really important if we want to if we want to really be able to speak our truths and speak our minds and when the time comes to to take charge of our lives to be the to be the guru of your life to be the leader of your life i mean we have the elder card sorry it's difficult to because it's married we have the elder card as well and that talks about leadership um for me when i first saw that i thought of oh falling back you know connecting with ancestors connecting with the with the ones who have the memories of um of of what's happened before because the worst thing about history is, do we really know whether it's true? For one thing, it's all written by the ones who are the victors. But there are also things that we need to remember which we do not want to repeat, like world wars and stupid things like that. Yeah. So it's um, drawing on the elders, our ancestors, the old ones' knowledge, but also it's about us taking leadership. You can connect to this knowledge by meditating by connecting with them by a shamanic journeying yeah so speaking our truth but stepping up but having you know doing the work <laughs> all this is really about doing the work delving deep and then finding you you have quite a bit more you may want to say or perhaps the direction which you've been taking isn't really what you wanted so it's very much about finding out more about yourself and what you want at this time and then expressing it expressing it succinctly clearly um when the time comes sometimes it is good to just say what you think because that that's one way of gaining an, an awareness of what you really think or what you really want yeah so to to give yourself a bit of space for that as well if you're if you've asked a friend to to speak to about something which is on your mind and you're not sure you need someone to bounce it back to you and you want to hear i found that this has been quite helpful I, I sometimes i need to hear myself say things and i go ah but that's not what i really want and I, that's not what I really want to be either. So sometimes it's 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 a very good practice to do. And I suppose maybe talking therapies are kind of like that as well. Um, so they're they're useful. Sometimes we need to hear ourselves and we go, oh damn, I did. That's awful. Though it's not. It's not. You know. And you can make changes. And you can go. I don't want to go in that direction anymore. I want to go in this direction. So awareness is you know we got the enlightenment card as well very enlightening week and hopefully it's going to be like that for all of us you know it's going to be beautiful um magnificent and inspiring and yeah all inspiring absolutely that okay let's hope it's like that for all of us but here we are stepping up being a leader also opportunities to connect with um with with uh mm, with all the the knowledge which is in our blood in our dna we're coming up to halloween so that's all saints all saints day you know it's the day of um, honoring the the ancestors and the ones who have come so um 
might be a good idea to remember them remember all the wonderful you know even though we all make mistakes you know and, and perhaps the ancestors have made mistakes and and as our parents might have made and we as parents make mistakes and you know it's this might be time to this might be time to move on from that love and accept it love and accept yourself and move on cleanse dump it chuck it get rid of it and become new yeah so trickster mm. coyote so it's just it's a car which says yeah you know not everything is as it seems it's sometimes good um op what may seem to be good opportunities are actually really yicky and aren't terribly good at all hence you know you have to kind of be aware of what you want be aware of your truth <laughs> um being very mindful of yourself being sovereign quite important being sovereign your choices don't get coerced into something <clears throat> you, you're really not sure about but this is also saying um there's a light-hearted energy about it a humorous energy about it as well and and um so perhaps it's t and we've got the enlightenment so you know look at things from different points of view look at things you know change change the uh direction of your awareness the degree of your awareness maybe it's time to look at it from that way and not just from that way or or this way instead of just this way yeah and you may gain a huge amount of awareness and become a lot more discerning um, about all the things around you may, which may be playing out and which may look like they're completely out of your control but actually they're not so the enlightenment and the trickster hmm, yes very interesting indeed yeah and uh and and the little book is really great and saying well if you want to um, activate the energy of the jackal so that you can um you can <laughs> you can be a little trickster or you can be more aware is to howl like a coyote which i think is really fun so and getting into the into the fun, sort of fun um vibration as well yeah and we are moving well oh, it's much colder we are moving into really into autumn proper with um the leaves starting to go um orange and yellow it's always found it a bit funny that the tree just outside my house is still a lot of green leaves but a lot of the same trees down up and down the road they've all gone sort of golden and and red um but yeah it's it's things things are happening so this transformation is happening and transformation is also the energy is tra of transformation is also there for us so in all that you do all that you discover all that you draw from integrity mm, make sure that your root chakra is nice and strong you have the ruby there and that is hanayao and if you're ever concerned, let's call upon this angel for help. You can say its name, pronouncing the vowels fully um, three times, and you will invoke the energy of Hanael. Okay, integrity. Keep your integrity when you speak your truth. Be truthful. So know yourself. Know yourself well at this time. And cleansing, we've already had that come up. What was is good to dump? Uh, perhaps your house may need uh, an energetic cleanse. Perhaps you might need to burn some incense or you need a full energetic cleanse. And I do property cleansing, property clearing. Uh, maybe it's time to write things down when you've done, been doing your work. Yeah, you might write things down that you want to release. You can burn it. And someone suggested you can then throw the ashes into running water. Um, and we've got the Thames not too well, down for, um, about 20 minutes down the road. Um, got the River Thames. And if you have a stream running by you or close to you or the sea is close to you, you can 
you can throw it into the sea asking that it be released and that it's time for you to move onto a different stage of your life becoming the leader of your life becoming a leader perhaps for people because you've spoken up you've expressed what you think is the best way forward for yourself or your community and we have this beautiful card enlightenment may we all be enlightened and may we all be free of suffering may we all experience joy and may we all create peace and kindness express kindness and generosity to each other okay and those are the invitations and the energies coming in for us so thank you very much for joining me i do offer one-to-one -one readings and we can do it over zoom or we can do it face to face I offer angelic and holy fire Reiki sessions, gong and sound sessions, and gong baths and cacao ceremonies. So if you would like to partake of any of them, just drop me a line. But I hope that this reading was useful for you. Please give it a thumbs up. And if you're happy with it, please do subscribe. You can share this with your friends as well if you think it might be useful for them. So thank you very much. Have an absolutely amazing, awe-inspiring and fun week where we can allow our eyes to be further opened and towards our souls. And perhaps we're going to find that, you know, we can be some something completely different. I, this is also what this card is about. That we allow ourselves to step out of a particular mode of thinking what we thought we were um, but actually, we don't want that. And this is saying, you may find that you're going to get like, get rid of all, all the outmoded ways of thinking about yourself or what you should be. And you come into and become a new being. And just like a new day and new seasons. So namaste and have an awesome week. Thank you and bye for now. <laughs>